There are so many things that you can do in virtual gaming worlds that would improve our lives. Imagine having the ability to run everywhere without being tired, suffering no fall damage or having infinite storage. Being able to reload moments in your own life for a do-over would alone solve so many problems. Of course, things like space exploration, travelling to other realms or being dubbed the chosen one would spice up anyone's life, but there are some other things more practical that we really want to be able to do in real life. Hello, I'm Craig. And I'm Heather, and here are five things in video games that we really wish were real. So, this is the child who will save the world. We all love a bit of adventure, but few of us get to experience much of it. Unless you're considering working 9 to 5 to get money so you can buy food and pay bills, adventure that is. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we were called upon to go on an epic quest? Ideally one where the destruction of the world wasn't a huge risk because of our failure. That would be bad. Oh my god! I suppose the longing for this kind of thing comes from an innate human desire to do something meaningful with our lives, embark on an exciting journey, and to be told that you are special. But let's be honest, how many of us really want the weight of the world hanging over our shoulders, or the pressure of constantly being told that you are the only one who can do this, it is your destiny? I don't know about you, but I would be running for the exit. Oh, pure hearted one, will you please come and save our world? No. So why exactly do we fantasise about going on an epic quest? We believe that the reason is because in RPGs there are aspects of adventure that are greatly desirable. Video game characters can have awesome skills that go hand in hand with being chosen, loyal memorable companions, exciting means of traversal, explorable worlds and the freedom to explore them. And let's not forget the awesome weapons and armour which we would all suck at using and or wearing. It's essentially a power fantasy. Who wouldn't want to be the ripped realm hopping Kratos with the power of a god? Who wouldn't want to be dragonborn with the skill to slay dragons and absorb their power? Who wouldn't want to be able to seek out, capture and tame loads of Pokemon as a 10 year old? The possibilities are endless. There are so many of these examples we could give, but we will just let your imaginations run wild. We have all had that discussion with people about which superpower you would choose to have and how you would use it, but imagine if magic was real. There would be absolute chaos with everyone trying to take over the world constantly, let's be honest. In case of a dark lord, you would have a queen! But in the highly unlikely event that magic was used wisely, think of how awesome that would be. Different video games that have magic usually have something unique, like the magic system in Dragon Age is entirely different from the magic system in the Elder Scrolls, so perhaps we should be more specific since magic is such a broad term. Conjuration is quite a common magical skill in games, like the ability to summon monsters to do your bidding in Final Fantasy in Kingdoms of Amalur, and Skyrim even has its own conjuration skill tree. I'm not sure how this magical ability would benefit us in reality, but it would be cool nonetheless. Elemental magic is very common in games and is a form of magic that I personally wish was real. The ability to control the elements creates so many possibilities. Imagine if we could control fire, water, electricity, wind, light and other. It would either be very cool or a Game of Thrones nightmare with people forming elemental factions with an ice queen and a fire king going head to head or the Lord of Thunder making the mistress of water his bitch. Having a force field or lift and throw abilities as seen in Mass Effect, Control and Hogwarts Legacy would also be very useful. I suppose this is known as telekinesis and we can all envision how beneficial this would be in everyday life. You could make heavy loads weightless, stop a train that's about to leave before you get a chance to board, avert disasters and save lives, or if you want to go down the evil route you could slam annoying people together, play epic pranks and manipulate people's actions. Even small things when you are feeling lazy would be cool, like not having to get up off the sofa when you are comfy to get things. You could levitate food and drink to you and complete tasks completely hands-free. It would be life-changing, albeit create a huge obesity epidemic. There are some magical abilities that we want in real life that are a given, but would definitely cause havoc and are better left in video games. Everyone would want the ability to fly, but if this were possible then we would just have so many Icarus deaths because people have died flying too close to the sun or too high. Everyone wants the ability to turn invisible, but this would just encourage perverts and bank robberies. Everyone wants to read minds, but in reality we would likely hate this ability. Do we really want to know what people genuinely think of us or be able to hear what was going on inside someone's head all the time? It sounds quite annoying. There are so many magical abilities that we could list, but feel free to let us know in the comments what magical ability in games you wish were real. 
I remember when I once found a fiver on the pavement outside. It was the best day ever. I felt like such a winner. I had a similar feeling when I was a child digging in my back garden, as you do. I was never a Barbie girl. I dug mud holes and climbed trees, which is why my low-tech childhood was awesome. Anyway, I found a worn old coin from 1918. I researched it, and although it turned out to be a worthless piece of junk, I still have it to this day because it feels like treasure I unearthed in my youth. But imagine if one day unclaimed treasure appeared everywhere, just lying around outside in chests or pots, and it was fined as keepers. People would go nuts. It would be like supermarket sweep. For a short while, until it all ran out, of course. But in some video games, treasure respawns. If that were the case, I would do nothing but forage daily. Treasure hunting would be my job. And only the game's protagonist seems to care about looting. The NPCs prefer the hard life grind, I guess. Someone should really tell that small town merchant that there's a rock just outside his village with 500 gold coins hidden under it every few days or so. Maybe it's his savings I keep stealing. That would explain his uninterest and why he never seems to progress in life. Awkward? Sorry, dude. Because video games are not restricted by our reality, we can find some very strange things in chests, like finding fresh fruit in supposedly abandoned tomb for centuries. Who put them there? How? Why? And how did it stay so fresh instead of making me violently ill? You can find food, gear, medicine, or in some strange cases, animals and other alive creatures. I'm free, meow. So yes, foraging and finding random treasure outside definitely makes the list, even if it would crumble the way our entire society works and decimate the economy. But let's be honest, the economy in video games make no sense anyway. One ability in video games that would be fantastic is being able to learn new skills instantly without having to put the time and effort in. You simply choose a skill from a skill tree selection and suddenly you know Kung Fu. The knowledge would instantly become accessible and you could also see your own personal progression more clearly. If this was a real thing, then there is so much that I would personally want to learn straight away. Firstly, I would insta-learn all languages to enable me to communicate with everyone on the planet and even understand dead languages. Secondly, I would most definitely become a multi-instrumentalist. And finally, me and Craig would both love to download the mysteries of the YouTube algorithm. I mean, it sounds great in theory, but instant skills would undermine any sense of accomplishment and make knowledge and talent meaningless. One of the best things about life is the pursuit of knowledge, and if that knowledge becomes so easily accessible, then what is there left to strive for? Perhaps humans could create some trials associated with gaining pieces of knowledge, such as you must learn three languages manually to access the full catalogue of insta-learn languages. Also, would this be an instantaneous thing, like knowledge beamed into your brain, or a matrix deal where it takes hours or several days to install files into our brain? Or would it be a scary invasive procedure like having your eyes clamped open, clockwork orange style? I can't imagine the process being pleasant or cheap, let's put it that way. Ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. Our number one pick of this list is, of course, fast travel. I mean, who doesn't want to be able to fast travel anywhere in the world in seconds? Obviously it would make all other means of transport obsolete, but it would make world travel easier, accessible to all, and free. One minute you could be sat at a lovely cafe in Paris enjoying a hot beverage, and the next minute you could fast travel to the Canadian Rockies or the Greek Islands. I can't think of anything more amazing and life-changing than fast travel being a real thing. There would be no need to have a travel bucket list anymore because you could simply zip there and back. As miraculous as fast travel would be, I feel that there would be a lot of drawbacks. For starters, nobody would stay in one place if the entire world was immediately accessible. People's priorities would change because there is so much to do and see in this world. I think those who don't utilise fast travel system to see everywhere would be judged more than those who do. But society would totally collapse, without a doubt. Plus, crime would skyrocket because it would be like giving every single person in the world an anywhere key from that TV show Lock and Key. You would never be able to catch criminals. I also think that fast travel would end up boring very fast. Like how the rich get bored and often turn to drugs, or like how people that drive everywhere sometimes just want to take a slow walk for some fresh air, or to enjoy the scenery instead of seeing it whiz by. We would all eventually suffer from inevitable fast travel lethargy and have no excuses for being late to work anymore. So, there we have it. There's five things in video games that we wish were real. We could mention a lot more, but if we went too in-depth with everything that we want in real life then this video could be hours long. 
So, let us know if there's something else that you think we should have included in our list in the comments below. I've been Heather. And I've been Craig. This is Amalgamingle, and thanks for watching.